Actor Ethan Hawke in Chicago tonight. We're about to talk to him live. ABC 7's Janet Davies at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, where he's being honored by the Siskel Film Center tonight. Janet, you have some major star power there, right next to you. <laughs> I certainly do. I have Ethan Hawke right next to me. Ethan, what does a, an award like this mean for your body of work coming from the Cisco Film Center? Well, I don't know. It, um, it's a strange thing to be old enough to get an award for the body of your work. You know, it makes you a little uh, start thinking about life. And it means a lot to me to see the Gene Siskel name on there because I think that Gene Siskel and Robert Jer Ebert taught me how to think about movies. Listening to the two of them uh, argue, agree, fight, and the seriousness with which they took movies. You know, film criticism is, is going through a, a darker period than when they first came about. You know, the internet has kind of given, given everybody a voice and therefore given no one a voice. And it used to be that people who wrote and thought seriously about film, like Gene Siskel, had to earn the right to have that voice. Now your voice right now is on a film called Blaze that's coming out in September and it's dear to your heart. Tell us quickly about that. Well it's a movie about the singer-songwriter Blaze Foley. I call him the snuffleupagus of the outlaw country western music scene because most people haven't heard of him. Um, but that was part of why to make the movie. It's a story of a, a, a lost legend. Thank you so much. You are a legend, too. Well, and congratulations getting the Renaissance Award. Ethan Hawke is a busy man. He has three films out this summer, right now and in August and in September, live at the Gene Siskel Film Center Gala. Janet Davies, ABC7, Eyewitness News. Thank you. Thank you. Janet, thanks so much. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.